So first thing we're going to do is to toast some pecans. This chicken salad, which I love chicken salad in the summer, has um, pecans and pineapple, a little bit of onion, and so it's going to have some nice crunch in it. So I've got some chopped pecans that I'm just going to put in the bottom of a, they're already there, and put them in there already for, uh, already for me, a dry skillet. You don't need butter or oil or anything like that, but you just want to keep an eye on them. And this is going to um, make them really nice and crunchy and release some of the oils and just give them more flavor. Now, chicken breasts. This is the biggest hassle of making chicken salad, and that's having the chicken around. So in the summer, especially when I'm grilling uh, or cooking chicken in any way, I'll always cook a few extra pieces because, you know, the summer is a very busy time, and you can always end up making chicken salad with it or throwing the chicken in a sandwich or, in this case, you know, um, any, any sort of a salad. So my favorite way, and I've got this recipe in both of my cookbooks to roast chicken, is I line up several chicken breasts on a piece of foil, drizzle them with butter or olive oil, season them with garlic salt and black pepper, roast them in a foil pouch on a cookie sheet for about 45 minutes, uh, you know, it depends on how many uh, chicken breasts you're doing, and that is just the, the easiest way to work with them. So at this point, I'm just going to chunk them up. You can shred them, you can dice them. For chicken salad, I really like more of a, um, a nice dice, so I'm just going to take the chicken breasts and give them a good dice. And chicken salad is not all that hard to make. I love to make it. I make it several times in the summer because Bob loves chicken salad. And it's nice to have on hand for the week if you've got a busy week. So if I'm making casseroles, things like that, I love to do chicken that way. It's just the easiest way to do it. It stays nice and e um, juicy. And when you boil it, it just doesn't have a lot of flavor and it gets a little bit tough. So at this point, I'm just going to kind of dice it up into little pieces. I also like to work with it when it's a little bit warm. I think so right after I roast it is usually when I shred it or chunk it up. Just works best that way. A little bit easier. Once it gets cold, it's a little bit harder to cut or for sure shred. If you're going to do a shredded chicken, that's definitely the time to do it is when it's a little bit warm. My daughter Ireland's getting ready to go to camp this week. She's going to a dance camp in Minnesota. So, you know, when those kids go off to camp, they've got the big, big long shopping list. It seems like it's not just the cost of the camp, but it's getting all the stuff and getting organized and packing it all up. So that's what we're working on this week is checking off the list to make sure she has everything for camp, the sleeping bag, the beach towels, the swimsuit, and all that kind of stuff. Can anybody else relate to that? I'm telling you. Camp is summer camp is so much fun. Okay, my hands a little bit of a wash. You've never been to summer camp, Ann? Well, we'll have to go sometime. It's still not too late. <sighs> Bob and I are actually thinking about going to a tennis camp this summer, and it's for a few days. Where? In Michigan. You're never too old to camp. So I'm dicing up a little bit of scallion. That's a great way to put some nice onion flavor in it this chicken salad without a ton of onion overload. Bob's not a big onion guy, but I love the flavor of onion. So this is kind of my go-to. I use scallions a lot because they're just not quite as strong. And they're a pretty color too. So let's get my chopped scallions in here. on my nuts, seeing how they're doing. All right, now here's the other fun twist to this chicken salad. Um, we're doing a little bit of pineapple. You can use fresh pineapple, you can use canned pineapple. So this is going to add a little bit of sweetness to it. I like adding some fruit to a lot of my chicken salads. I'll do grapes. Um, uh, let's see, I've done mangoes in, in chicken salad. Um, strawberries are kind of fun to do. But this is going to be nice, a little bit of the sweetness with the pineapple and the pecans is going to work really nicely. And I'm using uh, the pineapple tidbits from the jar or the can work really nicely. So then, that way you don't even have to ha ha you know, hassle with chunking them up. A little bit of salt and pepper. So it's pretty simple. But it's going to have a real wow factor with the nuts. These look perfect. They're just getting a little toasted. 
don't want to burn them, so I'm going to get them in there right now with the nuts and the pineapple. So a lot of different flavors going on. Give you that in, and we'll get a fresh cutting board to do our wraps. Okay, and then we're going to add some mayo. I start with a little bit of mayo, and then I can always add a little bit more. You could certainly lighten this up and use a light mayo. That's just fine. This is a total make-ahead, so if you're having the ladies over for luncheon, this is something you can do a good day ahead or a, even a couple days. The one thing with this, because it's got the pineapple, I wouldn't do it more than two days ahead because that fruit will start to break down on you. And whenever you're making a salad like this ahead of time, I always do a little dressing check. So if you think, um, you know, sometimes in the refrigerator, especially pasta salads, potato salads, they really tend to soak up that mayo. So do a, a little mayo check to see if it needs a little bit more before serving. So this looks perfect though. I always like to, you know, get away with using as little mayo as you you can. And now before, um, I'm, I love wraps, like I said, um, because they're so easy to eat. They're great to take for picnics. They're wonderful for road trips, car trips. Um, you know, car trips, you could be messy. Some sandwiches, you, you know, it's, you don't want it all over the car. So these are really great because they're neatly contained. So, you, you know, wrapping them is really the, the only trick. So I like to heat them just for a second or two in the microwave, and that makes wrapping and rolling these guys so much easier. All right, let me get a clean cutting board. Wrap and roll. I'm gonna do a little bit of lettuce down. Then a couple of scoops of this chicken salad. I'm doing this in a wrap, but of course this would be great on a croissant. It'd be wonderful in like a melon. Great for baby showers. The ladies love chicken salad. I, I know I do. And the thing with wraps is you don't want to overfill them. Okay. So now we're just going to wrap it up burrito style. So basically I like to take, you know, base the two ends like this and then wrap it as tightly as you can. And when you heat it up that way, it just wraps a little bit easier. And then you can just cut it on an angle. Or if you're doing it on a road trip, sometimes I won't even cut it. I'll just wrap the whole thing in saran wrap or foil. And that makes it real easy to eat. And the other thing with wraps is they tend to stay as they are. They don't get soggy. I hate it when you pack a sandwich, you know, especially some sort of a, a tuna or a chicken salad sandwich, and the bread gets all soggy, sog central. That's no fun. So wraps really tend to hold up well. Um, kids love them in lunches. And as I said, they're really nice for a road trip because they're easy to eat as you're driving. So there you go. It's a new twist on a chicken salad sandwich, uh, doing it in a wrap with pecans, a little bit of pineapple, some chopped green onion. Super, super easy. Actually makes a nice light lunch or even dinner and perfect for eating on the road. And you can get the recipe on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods.